An Iranian sheikh facing deportation from Australia later this, later this week has appealed to the immigration minister not to split up his family. Sheikh Mansour Legai was declared a security threat by ASIO and denied a permanent visa 13 years ago. But Sydney-based Christian church leaders have rallied behind the sheikh and want the minister to reassess the deportation order. John Stewart reports. Sheikh Lagai and his family have lived in Australia for the past 16 years. The Sheikh, his wife Marzia and son Ali all face deportation soon, unless a final appeal to the immigration minister succeeds. His two eldest sons and a 14-year-old daughter are able to remain in Australia, meaning the Sheikh now faces the prospect of having his family split. Apart from the uh, emotional, psychological effects on, on them, this is not the way that uh, uh, it's supposed to be. Families, they, they need to be together. Ali Legai arrived in Australia at the age of four. Sixteen years later, he's studying to be an accountant at university. I've lived here, brought up here, gone to school here, preschool, primary school, school captain in year six, high school, and uh, now final year of university. Ali Legai arrived on his father's visa and does not have Australian citizenship. He says he can't imagine being sent back to a country that he cannot remember. To be very honest, I haven't actually sat down and thought of it because to me still it feels like a dream. It, it doesn't feel real. It's just how, 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 how would it be possible? How, how could I be here for such a long time and then be asked to leave? If I was to go back, well, what would I do? Last week, Sheikh Lagai received support from Christian church leaders in Sydney who work with him on an interfaith council. ASIO accused the Sheikh of taking part in acts of foreign interference, more commonly known as spying. Sheikh Lagai denies being a spy for Iran or withholding information from ASIO. They asked me questions about my way of income. They asked me questions about uh, uh, some of the organisations uh, overseas organisations and to the best of my ability I've been always uh, very cooperative. I was happy to be scrutinised. Sheikh Lagai has appealed to the Immigration Minister on humanitarian grounds and wants the Minister to consider the impact the deportation will have on his family. And at the same time I pray that the Almighty God blesses the Minister to make the right and responsible decision. I consider myself Australian. So let's be Australian and give everyone a fair go. A spokesman for the Minister for Immigration, Chris Evans, today said that Sheikh Lagai's appeal for ministerial intervention had been received and will be considered. John Stewart, Late Line.